Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. This is the 15th part for React, Redux and Saga tutorial series. And here I'll tell you that how we can remove items from cart with the help of ID. So why we need to remove the item from cart with the help of ID. So let's, let's understand it first. Then we will move on the other things. So see, uh, actually for a moment we are able to remove the items, but when we are removing these items, uh, the actually last item will be removed from the cart. I would just want to show you their first uh, logic. So in the reducer file, you can see that when we have a case for uh, remove the item from cart, we actually just calculate the length and uh, uh, just make it minus one from the actual length. So let's say we have the 10 item from a cart and we made it minus one. So what actually happened? So uh, nine item will be remains and the last one item will be removed from the cart because uh, actually in previous videos we are playing with the dummy data. We don't that, that have ID and all that time. That's why we just remove the last item. So now we have ID uh, for the cart because we are getting data from API. So we can just fix that problem. So let's understand it again with the help of UI. So let's say I just uh, added the four item in our cart you can see that and in our header file we have all these four items like id 1 2 3 and 4 so let's say i am just removing the id number 3 or third item so whenever i will just click on that button what actually what should ha uh, actually happen so id number 3 product number 3 should be removed from the cart so let's try it uh, but that was not actually result so let's see here you can see that ID number one is removed from the cart, but still we have ID number three there. The reason is because last item was removed from that, right? And we are just pushing the element. So last item will be like uh, ID number one. So how we can fix that? So now we have ID in uh, last video, what I actually made there, you can see that in the remove to cart uh, item, I pass here ID. So with the behalf of this ID, we can identify the item and remove it. So let's uh, just do that. So what I'm just going to take here, I'm taking here a constant and uh, name is like say remaining items and uh, I'm putting here data dot filter and uh, it will just take a callback function. So what I'm going to do here, I'm taking it item and now let's filter out the id which is actually matched here so what we can do that uh, asha, all right so one more thing that i want to tell you that so in action dot data we are actually getting the id so let me show you first so if i'm just removing the id you can see that in a data we are getting this id id number three id number two in that case right so what we can do that here we can check that if item dot id not equal to action dot id right action dot data then it should be remaining item otherwise it should be filtered out from them right and now we i can just pass this item in the uh, you can see that uh, redux store so now you will find that we are able to just remove the perfect item so I just add here all these items one, two, three and four. Now you can see that in header we have all these four items with ID one, two, three, four. So now I am, I am removing this third one and now you will find that uh, mm -mm -mm. okay actually I just need to make it comment that line because otherwise it will remove the two items right. That's why there is a two item in cart. So let's just do it again. So now I just added the all these items again in cart. And here you can see the cart count four and these are the IDs, right? Four, three, two, and one. If you want to just see the more details, there is, you can see that, right? So now I want to remove the third item. So I just click on the remove to cart and now in header we have only three items you can just see that count also and third one is removed from here 
So if I just try to remove it again, you will see that the nothing will be removed because this is already removed. So now we again we have the same item. So if I just click on the second one, now we have only two items, first and four. If I just click over the four, then you will find that we have only one item. This is with the ID one, right? So that is that how we can remove these items from a cart with the help of ID. And in upcoming part, we will just uh, uh, starting to make a uh, search functionality. We will create a search area, then we will call the API and then we will filter out these uh, result also. So thank you so much for watching this video and please subscribe my channel, like this video and provide your, your valuable feedbacks in comment section. Thank you so much.